you are listening to one of the oldest instruments on earth. The lyre was invented during the Pharaonic period and was painted on the walls of tombs and temples across ancient Egypt. The original five-stringed lyre spread from its homeland in southern Egypt and northern Sudan to the entire East African region and is the grandfather of many different lyres and harps found from Egypt to Tanzania and all around the Red Sea coast. Some of these are the Ethiopian Begena, almost as tall as a person, and the Egyptian Simsimiya, which has been developed to include as many as 15 strings and play all the oriental scales. The lyre is the oldest complete musical instrument. Melody, harmony, and rhythm occur simultaneously as the strings are manipulated by the player's two hands. One hand, holding a plectrum, strums the strings, while the fingers of the other hand touch each string lightly to mute and unmute them. Every lyre, although it can be made from almost anything, has a basic shape. A body, often a wood or metal bowl, from which two arms stick out, connected by a cross piece. The strings are wound through a cloth, which is wrapped around the cross piece and then cranked to tune the instrument. Modern lyres are often outfitted with guitar or violin keys to make tuning easier. ancient times, strings were made from the nerves of the gazelle's leg. Nowadays, bicycle brake wire is most commonly used. One group in particular, the Thonbura group from Port Said in the Suez Canal in Egypt, has truly modernized the instrument, inventing new models with multiple strings to play the full repertoire of Egyptian music.